get the reverse osmosis system, you should choose a proper place to keep it. Do not place in an open area without shelter to avoid damage to the equipment due to rain, humidity. Be sure to leave enough space for daily maintenance. For example, a vertically mounted membrane tape. You should leave a distance of at least one meter above. For horizontally mounted membrane tape. You should leave a distance of at least one meter on both sides for future member replacement. Let me show you the main parts of the RO system. This is the 500 liters RO system, including three pre-treatment filter tanks, cold sun filter, activated carbon filter, and the water softener. Precision filter, high pressure pump, host part of reverse osmosis. The water produced by the RO system flows into the pure water tank. Here is the water in light. This is the concentrated water drain. Here is the purified water outlet. The outlets of the raw water tank connect directly to feeding pumps water in light. The outlet of the concentrated water connect directly to drain or flow drain or gutter. Purified water outlet connect directly to the inlet of the pure water tank. This is the water level switch. This is the locator. Pass the level switch cable through this hole. Go through and then put it out again. Head of this, normally at half of the middle water level. This is the draw water tank level switch. It has a low fluid level. The low fluid level is around here. The high fluid level is around here. When the water is full, the level switch will float up and sending a signal to activate the feeding pump. When the water level is low, the level switch will fall down and sending a signal to stop the feeding pump from working. Open the control box. Connect your power supply to these terminals. Connect related wiring according to the terminal diagram. Load the lower water distributor to the central tube and put the central tube into the filter tank. Send the rack to plug the part of the tube and fill in the filter media. This central tube goes through the upper water distributor and connected to this control valve. Cold sand filter will fit with cold sand. We usually fill to two thirds of the height of the street side of the filter tank. Activated carbon filter will fit with activated carbon and fill to two thirds of the height of the street side of the filter tank. Before filling with activated carbon, we should put a layer of coarse sand on the bottom of the tank. The layer of the coarse sand should cover the height of the lower water distributor. The ridden should be filled to two thirds of the height of the street side of the filter tank. After the completion of filter media filling, we need to finish the siding of the control valve. Set the backward time, set the current time, set the regeneration time of the softener tank. First step, press and hold up and down button for 5 seconds. Then will be an alert sound. It should 1 happen 0 3. 1 refers to service. 0 3 refers to this. It means the tank will backwash automatically after 3 days of operation. Press down. It will show 0 2 0 0. Refers to the backwash starting at 2 a.m. 1 hyphen 0 3. Means backwashing once every 3 days. 2 hyphen 1 0. Refers to backwash. It indicates 10 minutes per backwash circle. Backward for 10 minutes, this light comes on. If you want to set this time, you can press this menu button. Turn starts flashing. We adjust this time by pressing the up and down buttons. Once turned, press the set button again. Then we press the down button again. It will show 3 half and 1 zero. It means fast raise 10 minutes. 3 means fast raise. 10 means 10 minutes. 
It means fast rain for two minutes. First backwash and then fast rinse. Once the process is complete, it starts to run again after the first loading of the filter media. A full backwash and fast rinse of the filter media should be done. All the filter media should be clean. We need to press the middle button. Press again. When two hyphen one zero is displayed, press to run backwashing automatically for 10 minutes. Press to display three hyphen one zero. It starts to go fast runs. Fast runs and the backwash process need to run several circles until all the filter media flashes clean. The process takes about one hour. Flashing process is the same for activated carbon filter. Water softener has an additional salt absorption and green fill function. We unlock first, press menu and press down button. One hyphen zero three indicates regeneration process once every three days. The regeneration set circle depends on the hardness of the raw water. The regeneration circle can be adjusted after running for a period of time. We can adjust the regeneration circle shorter, normally once every two days. Once complete the adjustment, press the two hyphen one zero to start backwashing for ten minutes. Backwash the redden to make it clean. Press again. Three hyphen six zero indicates salt absorption. Salt absorption process takes sixteen minutes. After salt absorption process is completed, start a four step fast rinse. Fast rinse takes ten minutes. After fast rinse process, go step five, burn refill. Since the burn tank has already been drained of water, now it needs to be refilled with water. It will take five to six minutes. The burn refill time depends on the size of the burn tank. For the first time filling of the reader, it also needs to repeat the backwash and the fast rinse circles until the filter media is clean. For the valve, first unlock and set the time. The message for setting the current time. It's now 1332, which shows the current time. If this time is incorrect, we have to adjust it. Press manual button and the 13 starts flashing. Then we can adjust the time. For example, now it's 16.50, firstly let's set it to 16. Press the gun when 30 starts flashing, we will adjust the gun. Now you have set the current time. Now let's install the RO membrane. First step is to unscreen the pipe union. Remove the flaps. Use a screwdriver along the slot to pull out the part. This is a slot on both sides. Pull it out. Pay special attention to the direction of the arrow marked on membrane. The direction of this arrow should be the same as the direction of the arrow on this membrane housing. Lubricate the edges of the RO membrane during installation and put the RO membrane into the housing. Put it in and press the membrane downside. After pressing to the bottom, we put this cover on. Put clips on. Install another arm membrane in the same way. After the installation, screw the pipe unions. Turn it under manual mode. Manually activate the water inlet solenoid valve. Manually activate filling pump. 
They flush the filter media through backwash and fast rinse process until the filter media is thoroughly flushed and clean. Then we manually activate concentrated water solenoid valve. Wait for 20 to 30 seconds and close the solenoid valve manually. Manually activate high pressure pump. After the high pressure pump is switched on, we have to adjust the valve that regulates the concentrated water. The valve can regulate the flow and the pressure of the concentrated water. When the pressure before our membrane reaches 1 MPa, the system is basically well adjusted. Concentrated water flow and the produced water flow added together is equal to the inlet flow rate. The produced water flow meets the water producing capacity requirements. This means that the manual adjustment has been completed. Turn to the automatic mode, the device that runs automatically. The green light on indicates the system is in operation. If it's a light on here or there, this white light means the alarm is on. This is the raw water indicator. It lights up when the raw water level is low. This is low pressure indicator. It lights up when there is low pressure. This is high pressure indicator. It lights up when there is high pressure in water production pipelines. It will stop automatically. We need to check if there is a valve or a blocked pep in the water production line. If it lights up, here it means the water level is full. Those three lights only turn red when they indicate abnormal. If it lights on, here it means the water level is full. This is the flash solenoid valve. It lights up means the system is flashing. When it's off, it means it's down slashing. This is the raw water conductivity, which monitors the conductivity of inlet water. This is the conductivity of the produced water, monitors the quality of our produced water. We usually observe the water quality. If the water quality is suddenly rises, it indicates that our membranes may be clogged. We need to chemically clean the membrane or replace the membrane. We need to add salt to the brewing tank. The filling amount of salt to be added usually to one third of the brewing tank. To keep this salt in the brewing tank in a saturated state, check it often. If the salt is not enough, you need to add it timely. You can't add the table salt, but generally you can add industrial salt or saltening salt. Press and hold the red button until the water flows out.